So the first step in this process is obviously to open up the door and turn the detector off by removing the power and any other wiring that may be present. For this job I recommend taking the detector off the wall and doing it on a workbench. And with the locking screw loosened, we can simply slide the detector off. Okay, once we've got our detector off the wall and on the workbench, we need to open it up. And basically, we need to take this whole front cover off and invert it. So the first step is to undo the two screws here and here. Not very easily, then the whole front assembly slides out like that. We can bring it forward and we can disconnect two cables. First cable is this small cable here from the main board. Cables can only go back one way, so don't worry. And this cable here. So with these cables out of the way, we can concentrate on removing the tethers from the chassis. And I'll stand it up just so you can see what's going on. These tethers, the best way to do it is just to push them down, slide them out like that. Okay. Very easy to work with. So we've got the door off now, and basically should imagine what our detector is going to look like back on the wall so I'll turn it upside down. There's our exhaust port. But our door can't really go on like that. Basically this trap door here has to be removed and go over to this side. Okay, so I'll remove the trap door. It's really easy. Take a flat screwdriver and there's a long pin that runs right through the hinge to the bottom. Just pull that out, take that out. The door's removed with the hinge, with the hinge intact. Okay, so attaching the door onto the other side, you can see there's a slot there and there. Line that up. Here it fits in one way. Then you get your long uh, pin, which goes right through from the top to bottom. That you can test that the door, the door is intact. Okay, so now all we've got to do is reattach our tethers, which is now onto the the top, which is actually now the bottom, and plug our cables back in. So the cables can only go in one way. There's a there's a pin protruding from the cable, and there's a hole in the board. It can't go any other way. So just take your time. Don't force it. Plug the cable back in. And then your other cable from the main board goes over here and then there's a slot on it so it can only go in one way as well. That's in, the cable's in. The last thing to do is we'll stand our door up now. We can see that it's the right way up and we can put our tethers on. So we want the door to um, loosely fall down when we take the door off. So we'll lay, lay our door flat and put our tethers in the slots. There's one slot there and another slot here. So the best way to put your tethers in is to bend them back around themselves, put them under the tether openings and bring them up. It's a little bit fiddly but the best way to do it. See that, that one's just about in. Okay, the next one here, bend it back around, bring it from underneath the slot Basically what we do is we need to lay the detector down and arrange our cables back inside and then slot that left hand side in. Make sure our cables are out of the way and that fits the door fits straight back in. So if I spin that around so you can see, 
put these two screws back in. Basically, got our pipe entries on the bottom there. Uh, we can use to um, put our cable entry glands in here as well. But essentially, we've got our pipes two and three now on the bottom with the detector facing the right way up. The only difference you'll notice is that the hole at the trap door is at the top, which is no consequence and still opens up in the same way. So, see, and we've now inverted our detector. Okay, so to prove our detector was truly inverted, we can put it on the bracket the same way. Lock in, open the trap door. Once again, I secure my locking screw. My pipes now can be taken off the top and they can simply be installed underneath pipe two. And pipe three. And you can see now that those pipes can travel underneath to their subfloor.